Good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, YouTube investigative journalist, reporting. So here's, here's, uh, here's what we're going to look at today. Today, it, you remember, you have to go uh, back uh, two days ago. I covered a, I covered a, uh, one of my fake write-ups, one of the fake, the, one of the many ways that uh, the city agency, DSMY, uses uh, retaliation to get rid of people who expose their quota or who uh, who speak their mind about the uh, corruption that they're seeing. So, so I went back and I, um, it, I you remember I told you I want to well, let's just play the the recording for a second. This is uh, a, this is uh, Associate Agent Concepcion, the one who followed me around and uh, claimed that I wrote the wrong ticket, right? And then. It ended up in in a in a massive, most severe write-up that one could ever get at uh, the city agency. So here's what she said. Okay, um, you have to write out a warrant for this ticket. Which one? The one at 65 West 69th Street. You did observe a large industrial size printer. Mm -hmm. That was not a large industrial size printer. That was an e-way summons. I reissued the summons. Or you need to word it out. Wait, like, are you, did you hear the radio? I'll, I'll do it. I'm just. No, you said copier. You did not say printer. On the, when you called on the radio, you yeah, said copier. Yeah. There's a difference. A copier, a printer, a fax machine. You understand what I'm trying to say? What did I say? What is a copier? A copier. Copier is not on the sheet. Oh, okay. and on, on the sheet. Oh, that, no, but I'm just saying on the sheet that was given. Do you have? Okay, so 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 again, I'm not going to re relitigate the whole thing. Go back and listen to the other the other uh, piece I did on this. And what she's basically saying is, I come back and uh, and I I saw this this uh, all in one big shitty old copy printer. Someone throws it out, and in New York City, there's uh, you're not allowed to do that. It's it's what's called e waste, right? So I identified it as e waste, but just to make sure, I called in on the radio. To ask my supervisor because that's what they require you, you to do, and then they told me it wasn't e waste. So, but the point of it is, she says very, very clearly. I want to play it again. She says very, very clearly. Industrial size printer. Five West Sixty Ninth. Which one? She says that was not a printer. Sixty Five West Sixty Ninth Street. You did observe a large industrial size printer. Mm -hmm. That was not a large industrial size printer. That was a e waste from this. Okay, so. What I did was I went back. Anybody can do this, by the way. I went and I looked at the ticket because they don't give, they won't, she won't give you the ticket that she wrote. But you can go because it's a public summons. You can go back and 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 look at it. So the summons number, I'll put it down here. You could see it. It's E four three six eight three six one three X, right? And you can go on ECB Ticket Finder and see it for yourself, right? You can see the actual summons at the actual site. And I'm also dropping my uh, Google, I put it in the Google Drive so you could download the PDF as well. And what do you find when you go there, right? Details of the violation. This is her, this is her writing out the violation, right? She says, at the time, place, and occurrence, TPO, I did observe a printer <laughs> improperly placed out on the public sidewalk in front of the above location. So let's see again. Observe a large industrial size printer. That was not a large industrial size printer. It was not a. a <laughs> so, so she said that it, I call I call it in on the radio and I tell them that it was you know that that's what it was. It was a large industrial size printer on on the sidewalk, and they said it wasn't e waste, right? Now she's she's switching it. Now you hear her say, "Oh no, you said copier. You said copier." Okay, so that's a, that, again classic example of gaslighting. You did your job, right? I she even says that the that that the vo the ticket that I wrote that she voided out said printer. Large industrial size, small shitty size. It doesn't matter. It's a fucking printer, right? So I was right, right? And she goes back and writes it, the e-waste summons for a printer. 
you see the confusion? Do you see the, the, the mismanagement? And it's not only that, but it's, it's retaliation. They're setting you up. Right? I've always said it. They set you up for, for a write-up. Right? Now, again, there's, you could go, please, go click on the, click on the thing and, and, and view it for yourself. Especially the big shots inside. Read, read it and you'll see it for yourself. Right? So I did observe the printer and properly placed that on the sidewalk in front of the location. Now, here's the other part of it, too. If you look, right, she signs it and it says... An employee of the above agency served the notice of violation in the manner described above. False statements made hereon are punishable by a Class A misdemeanor pursuant to Section 210.45 of the Penal Law. Affirmation on the penalty of perjury signed 829.15. Misconception. Pow! Pow! You signed it. You signed it under under on the penalty of perjury, right? So you did see a printer. There's no doubt about it. And I did see a printer. So again, what, why am I doing this? Because I got fired for, for, for this kind of, this kind of retaliation, right? Because Amiskita, she's with Amiskita, the, her, this is her boyfriend, the lieutenant, right? And, and, and who's Amiskita's boss? Pascal, the one that's jamming the knife in my back, the racist in Brooklyn that's trying to jam the knife in my back. And who's pushing her? It's it's Burke because of the quota. See, it's a chain reaction. Burke is 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 jamming on... Oh, and Burke doesn't like me. Why? Because I'm calling out his quota. I'm rocking his boat. So what does he do? He pushes Pascal, the racist, to push these idiots to... a mosquito who's a, a, a functioning robot. And he sends out... He sends out... Uh, Miss uh, Miss Concepcion to write me up, who's not my supervisor. And what do they do? They just anything. They're just putting up fake write-ups, fake write-ups, fake write-ups. Just get them, get them, get them. Right. So this is what they did. So, so you, again, you see the confusion. Look at the stuff for yourself. This is retaliation. This is this is textbook retaliation. This is this is using punitive measures, falsifying city records. Falsifying city records to to defame. This is libel. It's written. This is this is this is libel. They're saying it publicly. She's running around the hallways calling me an asshole. That's slander, right? So you got slander. You got libel. You got all these things going on. And you also also the ticket. If you look at the ticket, it says, "I attempted entry." She signed this. I attempted entry into the premise. I found the premise locked. And no respond, no response to the bells, knocks or knocks or calls. Right? There's a 100% guarantee that she didn't knock on that door. All she did was she went back, she looked at the ticket, she went back in the car, she wrote her ticket, and she switched the tickets. She didn't knock on the fucking door. She committed a class A misdemeanor. She lied. Right? Not not because she didn't knock on the door, because she lied and said she did. So, so there you go. Uh, what else do I want to say about this? All right. That's it for now. Peace out. Okay, um, you have to write out a word for this ticket. Which one? The one at 65 West 69th Street. You did observe a large industrial size printer. Mm -hmm. That was not a large industrial size printer. That was an e way summons. I reissued the summons. So I need to word it out. Wait, like, are you, did you hear the radio? I, I'll, I'll do it. I'm just. No, you said copier. Did not say printer. On the when you called on the radio, you yeah, said copier. Print. There's a difference. A copier, a printer, a fax machine. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? What did I say? Was a copier. A copier. Copier is copy. not on the oh, sheet. Okay. And on, on the sheet. Oh, that, no, but I'm just saying on the okay. sheet that was given. Do you have one? I, I had it. I, I didn't okay, what it. I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy of another one. Yeah, it's in the, I wish I could go into the handheld, but then you'd have to go back. So I, I, I know it's in the handheld. If I would have went into the handheld, I would have seen the options. Right? Okay, because... But, but, if then, it, but then if that option isn't there, i got to avoid the ticket. Yeah, the, uh, and the option is not there. Okay. Because this is the only thing, right, this is the only thing that you can write for. Televisions, tablets, cable boxes, printers. 
monitors, mobile phones, keyboards, fax machines, computers, power like web. It, it looked like it was it looked like one of those multi things, those multi things that like connected to computer that does printing, that does copying, that you know what I mean? That's what it looked like. Yeah. So I just need to write out the summons. Right after void. What the yes. Summons? That's it. And I'm gonna make you a copy of this as I have. So it's uh, error, right. error in in uh, error in code reissue. And then that summons number, the last summons number that I put on the bottom. I'll make it. I have one for Monday because it's not working. I'll make it. I'll make a copy of that. With the, with the, you know, the, the paper that you show me, the e-waste e e thing. Oh, let yeah, me try to find it. Like, I'm sure I have it. No, I'll give you one, but the oh. thing is that the print, though, is it, messed up right oh. now, so I can't, I can't oh. make a copy. But I have one for you one day.